everyone. Okay, I just made a video and it was too long, so I'm not even going to remember everything I said. But I want to first start out by saying that feline leukemia is a different illness. A cat can live with it for up to 10 years. Um, right now, Clyde is not suffering because he's cleaning himself. He's loving me. He's, you know, I was physically and mentally exhausted yesterday. And I was so worried about him because he wasn't eating. Um, I don't believe my vet is stringing me along because I have a friend that, um, she has a cat with feline leukemia and he's lived for five years so far. And she had to have steroids to boost him up to be able to fight what was going on and he's lived five years. So I'm hoping these steroids work to help Clyde get a boost to be able to live longer. And um, he's cleaning himself. He's eating. He was, I think he wasn't eating very much because the antibiotic might have been hurting his belly. Um, he is... You know, loving on me. He sprawled out and blinking his eyes and loving me. You know, I'm in there talking positive to him. And, you know, I've learned today. Um, one of my friends, and I'm not comparing the situation. I'm using the mentality I have. But one of my friends put on his Facebook that him and his wife had a baby five weeks ago. And he just put on his Facebook today that his baby passed away yesterday. And, you know, the day before that, their baby was all right, but he really wasn't. He had an illness in him that was taking him. And then he passed away yesterday. And they had to make the choice to take him off life support. My whole point in bringing that up is, my mentality is, I can't put a time limit on Clyde if he's doing okay. Once he starts to go downhill and he's not cleaning them himself, and he's just laying there and not doing anything, eating or jumping off of... He's on my bench in the bathtub, and he jumps off of it, and he eats and goes to the litter box, and he is pottying, you know. Um, but they're not suffering. He He's not suffering. If I thought he was suffering, he would not be here. He's doing everything a cat is supposed to do. So these steroids, I think, are going to boost him up. And I'm hoping they can sustain him to where he can live a long life. If not, then I know what I have to do. Because he's eating really good right now. He just drank some tuna water. Um... I added water to the tuna water and he drank it all. So, um, and I'm giving him the recovery food. Plus he's eating his dry food because the steroids are making him hungry. Um, but he is not suffering at all. He's very much, uh, acting like a cat. Um, I know that, you know, I know other people that have had cats with feline leukemia that have lived long lives, you know, lives, sorry. And, but some of them don't. So I'm taking this as a day by day situation. I can't give Clyde a time limit. 
I want to say right now that I'm going to take this day by day. Um, his ringworm is looking better on his back, and that could be because the steroids are helping that too. Um, but the food he's getting has a lot of nutrition in it. Um, it's, you know, like I said, it's the last resort. If this doesn't work, I know what I have to do. I will never in my life ever let an animal suffer. And as much as I love Zanny with all my heart, Zanny is my pride and joy. She is my everything. But when she starts to suffer, I will let her go because that's the best thing for her. Yesterday, I was feeling so emotionally drained, physically and emotionally drained, that I felt like my world was caving in because I can't, I just, I'm getting exhausted, worried about Clyde. And I have to, I'm not sleeping well, I'm not eating well, I'm not taking my sugar, I'm not doing anything to take care of me. So I've checked on Clyde three times today. I'm not being obsessive about it today because I can't. I have to take care of me too or I can't take care of him. Um, but yesterday I was just so bad off that I couldn't I just had a different and I have a different attitude today about it because if God takes him tonight I know I've done all I can if God shows me that it's time for him to go I will let him go. In my heart, in my soul, in my everything in my being, I would never let him suffer. Ever. So, the, the illness is only painful when they get to the end. And he's not to the end. He is doing okay today. So let's just all pray that he gets better. Um, I want to have him for a long time. But if God wants me to send him back, I will. And as much as I don't want to, I would do it when the time happens. So, just don't think that I am trying to, or letting him suffer, because I'm not. Um, there have been so many cases with feline, leuke feline leukemia that you know, the cats have lived many years. And I think Clyde came to me with nothing. He had nothing to eat for a long time. He couldn't fight off anything. He couldn't barely hold his head up to eat. And he's now felt love. He's had a place that's warm and cozy He's had good food to eat. Um, you know, I clean his litter box out. He, I go in there and visit him a million times a day. Um, he's had a very good life if I lose him tomorrow. He's experienced exactly what I wanted him to experience. The love for my heart. The love that 
is unconditional. I I love him unconditionally. I he's taught me so much and like I said I'm not going to put a time limit on Clyde. I'll know when it's time. So um I hope everyone has a good day. Uh I'm going to rest today. I'm going to try to only check on Clyde a couple more times and um I'm going to make sure he has his food for the evening and his pill for the evening. And then I'm going to just let him rest. And, oh, by the way, I think his lymph nodes have gone down some today, unless I'm wishful thinking. Um, but I will try to do a video tomorrow. And if I don't, it will be on Thursday. So, um... I'll definitely keep you all posted on on this because I'm going day by day, not seven days. Because God told me today that you can't put a time limit on what he could fix. So, or what he could take away. Because... 